How cool is that? This is the Nokia 5710 Express Audio, a new dumb phone from Nokia that has an incredibly quirky trick up its sleeve. It's gonna set you back around $80 depending on where you live and it's designed for audio lovers. So here's what you can expect from this pretty innovative feature phone. Starting with the hardware, the whole device is made out of plastic as you'd expect. My first impression when picking this up was, wow, it's a lot bigger than I expected. It's also fairly thick, about two times as thick as your standard smartphone, with a thickness of about 16.2 millimeters. But it doesn't feel very heavy as it only weighs about 129 grams. I'm also fairly confident that it can handle any accidental drops, no problem. And other than the glossy plastic around the display, I like that it's made out of a matte finish. Much easier to keep clean and a lot less slippery. I also really like the two-tone design, and if you're not a fan of black, you can also get it in a white and red combination. On the front, there is a 2.4 inch QVGA display. It's flanked by media controls on the right and a volume rocker key on the left, which is a throwback to the original Nokia Express music devices. And the T9 keypad on the front is very good. Using my super scientific how far can I reach playing Snake on this keypad test, this one scores a solid B. It's not as easy to use as the island style keys on devices like the new 8210, but its tactile feedback is excellent. The D-pad is also great, large and easy to use even if you're in a rush. Overall, despite the 5710 being quite large, it's quite easy to use it with one hand. Although I can see it being quite difficult to fit inside super tight pockets. The top side of the device is clean, while the bottom houses the micro USB port for charging. I would have personally loved to see USB-C being used on this device, but unfortunately this means that you'll have to find some old cables lying around if you're trying to charge this away from home. Now the back is where the 5710 Express Audio truly differentiates itself from the rest. You've got a dual speaker setup, a VGA camera, and an LED flash which can be used as a torch. The camera though is pretty mediocre when it comes to capturing images and for video recordings, so don't have any high expectations. The resolution is simply too small for anything outside of very basic sharing functionality. The best aspect of the 57 though is that the top can slide down to reveal two pretty cool looking wireless earbuds. These earbuds are capable of providing up to four hours of music playback, and once they're sitting inside the device, they're constantly being charged. So you're essentially getting a phone and wireless earbuds packed into one. The buds themselves are small and light and sit tightly in your ears. I wouldn't worry about them falling off even if I was out jogging. And they also provide really decent audio quality. The buds have basic touch controls, so you can tap on them to pause or play music, or double tap to skip tracks. The touch controls aren't super reliable, but it works okay. Now I'm no audiophile, but these won't beat earbuds that cost close to $60, but they would be excellent for something that would go around $30. And when you consider that the whole phone costs around $80, this is just fantastic value. Nokia also added a couple of built-in features into the S30 Plus operating system that the 5710 is running on to fully utilize these wireless earbuds. So there's a built-in equalizer inside the music player, for example, so you can fine-tune the audio to your liking. There's also wireless FM radio, and you can take phone calls on this, as they also have microphones. The back plate is, as expected, removable, and removing it reveals a 1450 milliamps battery inside. Now, Nokia claims you can get about 20 days of standby if you're using dual SIM cards, both running on 4G. I'm assuming they had almost every other feature on this device switched off to get close to these numbers. They also claim that you can get about 7 hours of talk time, which sounds about right to me. Of course, your experiences will vary wildly based on your usage. Just keep in mind that the battery capacity is quite small, so if you're using a lot of smart features, you'll eat it up pretty quickly. The rest of the software experience is your standard Nokia S30 Plus affair. You've got a home screen that displays all your notifications, and shortcut keys that can be fully customized to your liking. Even the D-pad directional keys can be used to quickly access apps from the home screen. The menu is your typical 3x3 grid of icons. You can, however, change it to a list view or a single icon per screen, depending on what you prefer. And here are the key features of the S30 Plus operating system on the Nokia 5710. It can store up to 2000 contacts and you can transfer your Android contacts to this device using Bluetooth. Oh yeah, it also has Bluetooth 5.0, which is pretty cool for such a device. There is a basic web browser, Facebook app, calendar app, files manager, torch, 
FM radio, a photo gallery, a music player, a voice recorder, a dictionary app, and a couple of games pre-installed. The device also supports an SD card slot of up to 32GB of memory, so you can increase on the tiny built-in phone memory. It supports 4G for both SIM cards and transferring calls. And of course, there's my favorite version of Snake, which is addictive as heck. What I like about this operating system is that it's pretty fast and everything opens up pretty quickly. I also tested the call quality briefly and I had no complaints. So what are the things that the 5710 doesn't have or can't do? For a start, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, so you'll have to rely on 4G if you want to access anything online. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi hotspot feature, so you can't share your 4G connection with another phone. There's no official app store for it, so you're pretty much limited by the built-in apps that come provided out of the box. There are no music streaming services available for it, such as Spotify, for example. And finally, it doesn't have a WhatsApp client. So that was my quick dive into the Nokia 5710 Express Audio's features. What do you guys think of this one? Any features you'd like to see and are you sold on the idea? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I personally really like the concept, but I wish that the phone was slightly smarter and had apps to make full use of the wireless earbuds. It's also pretty hard for me to use this as my daily driver considering that it doesn't have WhatsApp and I heavily rely on that to communicate with my family and friends. I still would love to try. If you want to see a future phone with WhatsApp support and more advanced features, check out my Nokia 8000 video or check out my latest upload here. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.